Dimapro Dima Joint Fill Plus is packaged in 600 milliliter cartridges and also 10 gallon units. Dimapro Dima Joint Fill Plus is 100% solids polyurea joint fill material. Dima Joint Fill Plus is a two component 100% solids material. It has a mixed ratio of one to one. It withstands the impact on the control joint shoulders from heavy forklift traffic. Can be shaved within 45 minutes and open for traffic in less than an hour. The material will flow into moderate width cracks protecting them from further damage. The working temperatures for the cured material are between 30 degrees and 130 degrees Fahrenheit. During high level of joint movement, or concrete shrinkage, the cured material will release from the joint face, minimizing stress on that joint shoulder. It is also infused with microband, an antimicrobial additive that attacks the reproductive system of the bacteria and mold to minimize their growth. Recommended uses in any facility where they have forklifts to support the shoulders of control joints and cracks to minimize further edge spalling. It is semi-rigid, so it will withstand some vibration and slight joint movement while in service. It keeps debris from impacting into an open joint or crack. It does minimize the growth of mold and bacteria in cracks and also joints where it can hide. Environment-wise, any food-related areas, warehousing, or manufacturing facilities. Microband Technologies is an EPA-registered antimicrobial additive. It is induced into the Dima Joint Fill Plus, reducing the growth of harmful bacteria and fungal cells. So how does Microband Technology work? It attacks the reproductive system of the cell so it can no longer reproduce. It also attacks the digestive system so it no longer can ingest food. Being that it can no longer eat nor reproduce, the cells eventually die off. A bacterial cell will reproduce every 20 minutes. The two samples below show an unprotected surface and a protected surface by microband. On the left, the unprotected surface has multiplied numerous times, increasing the number of bacterial cells. In the same amount of time, you can see the microband side is actually diminished over time. It is important to start with a clean, dry joint. After running a dry saw, down the joint, cleaning both sides of the joint, vacuum, removing all dust from the joint itself. If you're using a cartridge, insert the cartridges into the cartridge gun. While pointing the dispenser up, connect the static mixing nozzle to the cartridge. Slowly pump the material, and just before it reaches to the end of the nozzle, slowly pump mat that material into a cup until both components are just being dispensed at the same rate. Move the nozzle over the joint and slightly overfill the joint in a steady motion. If you're using a bulk machine, set the pump to a one-to-one -one mix ratio. Mix both components before loading them into the holding vessels. Slowly pump the material into a cup until both components are being dispensed at the same rate. Move the nozzle over the joint and slightly overfill the joint with a steady motion. Once the material is set for 45 minutes, shave a small area. If it doesn't peel from the surface, allow the material to cure for an additional five minutes. Continue until the material shaves well and easily peels from the surface. The cure rate, which is time to shave, is temperature dependent and will slightly fluctuate on every project. On the left, you see the installer injecting the 
control joint material into the joint itself. On the right, you can see the nice even flow of the material. There will be times when the material actually sags into the joint after you've filled the joint. Wait five minutes, go back, put more material in that area to make sure that it is overfilled. The material itself comes in various colors. The VOC level of the material is zero grams per liter. Viscosity is considered self-leveling. The pot life is 30 seconds in a 100 gram mass, which is very, very short. The mix ratio, one to one by volume. The shore A hardness is between 85 and 87, and the shelf life is one year in an unopened container. With all materials, there are limitations. The concrete substrate should be at least 28 days old. Diamond Joint Field Plus is recommended for interior use only. Some solvents have a slight effect on the appearance of the cured material. Oils could also discolor the surface. In either case, the performance of the material will not be altered. It is not designed for sealing moving joints or cracks or cracks that exhibit any type of hydrostatic pressure. Accessories needed for a successful installation. If you're using bulk material and want it tinted, Dyma Tint is the material to do so. It comes in a wide variety of colors. If you're using cartridges, they come pre-tinted. If you're gonna use a cartridge, a cartridge gun is gonna be required. And for bulk, the Dyma Pro dual component pump for medium to large size jobs can be used. This also mixes through a similar static mixing nozzle. Once the joint is overfilled and cured, you're going to need to shave it from the surface. The joint fill shaver is what you'll be utilizing. With all Dymapro systems, equipment, and chemicals, on the bucket or the piece of equipment is a QR code. If you scan the code, you will be brought to the website with all the information, such as product information, videos, brochures, technical data, and the manual for the piece of equipment itself. Thank you for your time. If you have any other questions, please contact your Dymapro Systems representative.